Hey guys, I am so excited to be trying the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have it in the shade 2 Neutral, and this comes in like a squeezy tube style bottle, but it has a pump at the top. It is made in Italy. Did I see that somewhere? Yes, made in Italy for Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, it's one fluid ounce, and I did purchase this at Nordstrom. I don't remember the price, and I don't think it's on here. So I'll leave that down below in the description box. I apologize. Um, but there are a lot of claims on this box. They're like all up and down. Uh, boost hydration by up to 166%. Skin looks plumper and smoother by up to 181%. Skin tone looks more even by up to 210%. I'm so confused by these numbers because anything over 100% means that it's gonna be better than before I used it. Is that what it means? Um, it minimizes the appearance of pores, reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots. Hopefully it is a foundation. Uh, skin appears instantly brighter. And this is touted to have a medium coverage, which is really interesting. So I have very high hopes for this. I'm just shaking it up a little bit. I have my trusty BK Beauty 101 brush here. And what I'm gonna do, it's the beginning of my day here. I'm just gonna wear it all day and I'll come back and uh, let you know how it wore. And if there's anything of note, you know, midday while I'm wearing it, you know, if I'm like out in uh, the daylight and I see it breaking up or anything like that, I will definitely film that as well. But I plan on just coming back at the end of the day and just letting you know how it went. So it'll probably be about like a seven, seven, eight hour wear test. Uh, so I'm just gonna pump some out. And there is the consistency, like a light lotion-y kind of texture. And just pick some up with my brush. And I'm gonna apply it to this one half of my face so we can get a sense of the coverage. And I just have my skincare down. I don't have any primer or anything like that down uh, because I do want to see what this foundation does all on its own. All right, so I have this much left. I did about a pump and a half. So I used up most of that and this is the coverage that I get. It's really lovely. I feel like yeah, it's definitely, you know, toned down any of those sunspots that I have, the uh, pigmentation that I have, the hyperpigmentation that I have along my jawline down here. And I feel like I have a really beautiful, like subtle glow to my complexion. Yeah, it feels nice. It doesn't feel, it doesn't like make my skin feel tight or anything. And it really has made my skin look quite smooth. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> all right, this is very, very exciting. Uh, let me go ahead and finish up what's on my hand, apply it to the rest of my face. I'm gonna pump out uh, probably another pump here and finish applying to the rest of my face. All right, I'm taking a close look here now that I have it all over my face. It really makes my skin look so smooth. It actually kind of reminds me of a cushion foundation. It has that uh, like soft appearance to it. Is there SPF in here? It does not have, I don't believe there's any SPF in here, just FYI. There's also no fragrance, which is wonderful. Oh, but I love the way it's making my skin look so smooth and a subtle glow. This is really amazing. Let's hope that it continues to look this way throughout the rest of the day. This is great. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in um, and we'll start at the forehead and we'll just pan down, but I feel like it looks just fantastic. I would say yes to it having a medium coverage. I feel like my coverage is maybe just short of medium because I, you know, I just don't, I don't use that much foundation. I don't like that much product on my face. Um, because you can still see my sunspots there. They're, they're like toned down for sure. It's sitting really nicely around my nose. And yeah, it's just making my skin, like especially along my cheeks, just look really soft. I feel like I look very filtered. 
this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay. All right. Um, I'm happy. I'm really happy so far. I do like this shade for me. So again, this is too neutral. I will say for a neutral shade, it leans just a little bit, like a teensy bit warm. Like there's a little bit of peachiness to it, um, but it's not too bad. And I feel like it works for my skin tone. You guys, I'm really really excited this looks good and for any of you that are new to my channel i am 48 and i have very dry like very very dry eczema prone skin so just for your reference this is what we're dealing with here okay i'm really excited i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some light makeup i'm gonna try and forego concealer and highlight because i don't want to affect the finish of this foundation. I really wanna see like throughout the day, like my oils shine through, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I'll be right back. All right, I just finished up my makeup. I didn't put on any powder or concealer or highlight because again, I really wanted to see how this foundation would look kind of all on its own. And surprisingly, it I think it's a, like a self-setting foundation. I really didn't feel like I needed to powder to set it. So I did put on some uh, bronzer and blush like right over the foundation and I think it blended out really nicely. So that is definitely a plus as well if you have dry skin like I do. Uh, I try to avoid powdering. I mean, I'll do it uh, if I have to, but uh, if I don't have to, then it's definitely a step that I will skip. Um, but I'll have all of my makeup listed down below in my description box if you're interested. But I did want to call out another product that I used, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Oyster Pearl. <sighs> so beautiful. <laughs> so, so beautiful. I love her eyes to mesmerize. They are of that softer, moussey textured kind of formula. So I feel like I have to be careful when I use them, but when I get, you know, just a little bit on a brush and I just mm, work it in all over my lid, they're incredible, absolutely incredible. So anyway, it's been only about like a half an hour since I applied this foundation, but I am really, really loving it. I'm really loving it. I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait to see how this wears. I have very, very high hopes. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how it looks at the end of the day. Well, it is the end of my day and it's actually much later than I anticipated. It's about 7 p.m. So I've had this makeup on for about nine and a half, wait, <laughs> nine and a half hours, about nine and a half hours. Um, and I am really, really impressed. So what I've noticed is, I don't know if you can see this, um, but I have a little breaking up around the edge of this nostril here, but not over here. And I have had my mask on and off all day. I want to say probably three times. Supermarket, <laughs> Walgreens. Yeah, about three times I've had my mask on and off. Um, and I will say that other than this, I really don't see any kind of marking or wearing away of the foundation, despite the mask wearing, despite you know it being nine and a half hours later. I feel like this foundation looks fantastic. The only change that I see aside from me not having any lipstick on. Um, the only change that I see is uh, a little bit of my oils kind of coming through like center forehead and like the typical areas and like here where my pores are a little bit larger. But it's not at the point where I feel like, oh man, I got a powder or I feel like I look really greasy. I just look like, I feel like I look like I have a little bit more glow and I didn't put any highlight on. So none of this is like highlighter or anything. This is just like a little bit of my uh, natural oils just kind of breaking through a little bit. But I mean, I think it looks really nice. It's still kind of like a beautiful satin finish. I'm really, really impressed. I did take some footage of me, I wanna say about midday, it was probably around 3, 30, 4 o'clock. Uh, no, it was more like 3, 3.30. And I stood in front of my window um, and I'll put that footage up here for you, but I just wanted you guys to see what this looks like in daylight. And I just think it looks fantastic. The, you know, color hasn't changed. It hasn't oxidized. It hasn't done anything weird. And I just, yeah, I'm just so, so impressed with this foundation. I feel like my skin looks really, really creamy. Like there's that soft filtered effect that I talked about when I first applied it. I still see that. I see that across my forehead and across this whole area. It just looks so smooth and soft. Yeah, and just filtered and creamy. I can't think of 
I can't think of a different word. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.